it's scary as anything. Like, it's, it's scary. My child could have died. A mother pleads for justice as her daughter recovers from a brutal stabbing at Lansdowne High School in Baltimore County. Police say 15-year-old Zoe was stabbed multiple times by another student inside a school bathroom. Good evening, I'm Kai Jackson. And I'm Mary Bubala, the victim's mother now demanding the girl accused of attacking Zoe be charged with attempted murder. Disturbing videos and images of the stabbing are circulating on social media, but many questions remain. Fox 45's Rebecca Pryor questioned county leaders and showed the video to a legal expert. Rebecca? Yeah, Kai, I, when I showed the legal expert this video, he tells me this is a serious crime and it deserves a serious consequence. But he also says new juvenile justice reform laws, they could block some of the potential charges. Now, before we show you the story, we did want to warn you, we don't plan on, or we're not airing the video. However, some of the images could still be disturbing. I don't want something like this to ever happen again. A passionate plea from a mother who almost lost her child. She was trying to kill my baby. Amber Holt speaking with Fox 45 from the hospital as her 15-year-old daughter Zoe recovers in the ICU. Video and images circulating on social media capturing the terrifying moments of Zoe's near-death attack. Another female student can be seen wielding a knife and heard on video asking, what did I tell you? As Zoe questions, who are you? Holt is now demanding attempted murder charges, claiming her daughter was stabbed at least 10 times. He was stabbing her to kill her, not just to prove a point, but to kill my daughter. And that infuriates me. Even without having seen it, I can tell you that it is egregious and it's completely unacceptable. Baltimore County Executive Johnny Olszewski not willing to watch the video on camera or say what exactly the charges should be. Although he does say he expects the county's top prosecutor, Scott Schellenberger, will send the message these actions will not be tolerated. I think whatever the fullest extent of the law would, would uh, allow for, we would expect to see that happen. It's a little difficult to say that the intent wasn't to commit serious bodily injury, which would satisfy first degree assault and potentially attempted first degree murder. But according to former city prosecutor Jeremy Eldridge, new juvenile justice reform laws could block certain charges depending on the suspect's age, tying the hands of a prosecutor. I think community members in Baltimore County, in light of the uptick in violence in the Baltimore County school system, are probably having some heartburn over the legislative changes to at what age juveniles can be charged with crime. If the suspect is 16 or older, she can be criminally charged as an adult for both first degree assault and attempted murder. But if she's under the age of 16, it's attempted murder or nothing in adult court. Whenever you're looking at an incident that's as serious as this involving a stabbing, obviously it's committed by a child, but these are the actions of an adult. A conflict that's likely weighing heavily on the Baltimore County State's attorney with charges still pending. Attorney this afternoon, he tells me that the suspect is still being evaluated in an area hospital, and until that evaluation is complete, he will not be commenting or issuing any charges. Reporting live in Baltimore, Rebecca Pryor, Fox 45 News.